isang makapalang araw po sa inyo lahat at nawa sa oras na ito kayo ay sa mabuting kamay ng ating Panginoon so today we will going to uh, talk about and study about the uh, born to the call of God at ito po yung ating uh, day day 14 yeah if I remember last last time yung ating naging topic sa lahat po ng uh, sumusubaybay is uh, born to a joyously serve kung paano pa tayo mag-serve sa ating Panginoon no? at uh, of course, ang lahat ng ito we uh, this is our 21 day series uh, ang pamagat po nito is uh, born into God's family kaya kung mapapansin ninyo sa aking mga videos Lahat ay nagsisimula sa mga title ng born, no? So, born, ibig sabihin, ipinanganak tayo, no? Born for a new beginning, yun po yung ating number one. At ang number two po natin is, uh, born for freedom, ayan. Born to live in God's grace. Uh, born for a new focus. Nandiyan lahat yan, naka sa ating video, no? Pag nasusubayan po ninyo yung um, Crusader 377. Born for a new life of faith. Okay. Born to walk with God. Subaybayan po ninyo sa lahat po. Uh, balikan po ninyo yung ating uh, lesson mga nakaraan. Born to worship God. A topic po natin yun. Born to declare His praises. Um, born to live by the Spirit. Yun. Kung mga tandaan po ninyo. No? Born to be an overcomer. Okay. Born to be yoked with Jesus. And uh, born with a birthright. Sana may napulo tayong uh, aral dito sa, sa lahat ng ating pag-aralan. At uh, of course, last, uh, last topic po natin is born to a joyous or joyously serve. So today, ang ating pong pag-aralan is uh, yun po yung born to the call of God. Calling na po ito kasi... Yung pinaka-basic po natin na, na lesson natin is uh, nat natakil na natin lahat. Ano? Almost. So, as I said, this is our day 14. So, marami na po tayo na pag-aralan. Kung late man kayo at hindi po ninyo ito uh, uh, nasundan, balikan nyo lang po yung aking video. Okay? Balikan nyo lang po yung videos ko at uh, lahat po yan ay inyong masusubaybayan at makikita niyo po doon lahat ng mga katuruan natin. Okay, so praise God. Uh, muli, bago pa tayo magsimula, uh, let us uh, give glory to God by uh, giving Him respect and the highest reverence. Tayo po ay muling uh, let us pray and let us call for the, the presence of the Holy Spirit. Holy Father, we thank you so much sa gabing ito, sa araw na ito, sa umagang ito, saan makamisulok ng mundo. that we are going to receive your divine gift which is comes from the word of yours, O God. Salamat, Panginoon. We declared blessing upon blessing to those who are here right now who are listening to your word, O God. Salamat, Panginoon. Teach us, O God, sa, uh, sa ninanais po ninyong iparating sa amin. Uh, just open our spiritual heart or spiritual mind o God spiritual ear na naway ang lahat na aming pong mapag-aralan ay ito po ay maisabuhin namin we thank you Lord we bless your holy name O Father this we pray in Jesus name Amen so in Romans chapter 8 verse 30 again ang pamagat po nito the title of our topic for today is Born to the Call of God In Romans chapter 8 verse 30 says, And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Romans chapter 8 verse 30. Each and every Christian has been called by God. <clears throat> the Bible tells us that God has called us. You are, as I said always, you are not, don't call yourself as a Christian if you are not being called by God. That means that if you are a Christian, you are being called by God. That's why you are a follower of Jesus Christ. 
So the Bible tells us that God has called us. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4, from the foundation of the world. It says here in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4, who reaches us in him before the creation of the world. So before God created the world, he had already chosen us. Choose you. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9, be or to be separated unto him. But you are a chosen people, it says here, no? First Peter chapter 2 verse 9 chosen but you are a chosen people a people belonging to God so you are now belongs to God you are not belongs to anyone God owns us and second Timothy chapter 1 verse 8 to 9 it says God saved us and called us to a holy life not because of anything we have done but because of his own purpose and grace again there is a saving grace here. We are being saved by the grace of God. That not but what we do good or serve God. We are being saved through the grace of God. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 8 to 9 again. God saved us and called us to holy life. Not because of anything we have done but because of his own purpose. And grace and uh, how we could respond to the call how we could respond to the to the uh, to the call of God Matthew chapter 22 verse 14 Matthew 22 verse 14 for many are called but few are chosen yes we are being called but there are just few no na uh, talagang uh, pinili no? maraming tinawag ngunit kukunti ang napili so it says in Matthew chapter 22 verse 14 For many are called but few are chosen Sana punta yung ibang mga tinawag huh? So the call of God is wide and all inclusive It is inclusive no? God does not just call a select few But he calls the many This call is expressed on two distinct levels So we will have to, to, to check this two distinct levels the call to come. First is the call to come. The first expression of God's call to our lives is to return to Him. This call has gone out to every single person on the face of the earth. Romans chapter 10 verse 14 and verse 18. The many, sabi po niya, no? But only those who respond to that call is the few are chosen. Marami po kasing tinawag pero kukunti lang po yung nagre-response. Marami pong tinawag ng Diyos upang mag-serve sa Kanya, upang gagamitin siya ng ating Panginoon. Ngunit, yung iba ay ayaw mag-response. Pag, pag sinabi po natin tinawag tayo ng Diyos, tinatawag tayo ng Diyos. But if we are not responding to God, then we are not... Uh, legit no, na magiging parte ng ating ng ministry ng ating Panginoon so as I said again only those who respond to the call the few are chosen kukunti lang po yung talagang na pili at ang pangalawa the call to go kanina po the call to come uh, now, now is the call to go only once we have responded to the first call to salvation can we respond to the second call to the purpose of God? Ephesians chapter 1 verses 11 to 12 Like the first call, the second call is wide and inclusive. This call goes out to all those who have responded to the first call. Siyempre, tatawagin tayo ng ating Panginoon. Tinawag tayo ng ating Panginoon to be a part of His ministry. Then we respond. After we respond, are we ready to go for the mission? Are we ready to follow the work of Christ? Ito po yung isang tanong, no? So, this call goes out to all those who have responded to the first call, the many. But likewise, it is only those who respond to that second call, the few, who are actually chosen by God for involvement in His purposes. 
Will you be one of those who responds? Okay. Tanong, will you be one of those who responds? Four expression. We have here a four expression. Apat po. No? Four expressions. Every believer has four expressions of ministry and each must be in balance. First, first Peter chapter 2 verse 9. First is the ministry to the Lord. First is the ministry to the Lord. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, that you may declare the praises of Him who called you. Ito po yung una, no? Ministry to the Lord. Again, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, that you may declare the praises of Him who called you. Pangalawa, Ministry to ourselves. Ministry to ourselves. Psalm 42, verse 11, why are you downcast, O my soul? Put hope in God. Okay? Ministry to ourselves, no? Pangatlo, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11, Ministry to the body of Christ. Ministry to the body of Christ. It says here, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11, Therefore, encourage one another and build each other. Okay, we are talking about the body of Christ. We have to build up. We have to build each one of us. No? So, first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 11. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other. Okay, palakasan. Ano? Number four, ministry to the world. Ministry to the world. Mark chapter 16 verse 15. It says, He said to them, Go into the old world. Go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. Mark chapter 16 verse 15, ministry to the world. Ito po yung mga missionary na ano, they're going outside na dito dahil ito po yung command ng ating Panginoon. He said to them, go into the world or go into all the world, all the world and preach the good news to all creation. What is the good news? The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the good news. And number five, ministering Christ. Ministering Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5. It says, For we do not preach ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, and ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5 again. For we do not preach ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, and ourselves as your servants for Jesus Christ. So every believer is called to be full-time in ministry, in work, at home, and in church, or and in the church. The very essence of our ministry and our call is to minister the redemption, power, and life of Christ to others. Great commission pa rin po ang binabagsakan ng ating pong pinag-uusapan dito. Born to the call of God. Again, as a closing, every believer is called to be full-time in ministry in work, at home, and in the church. The very essence of our ministry and our call is to minister the redemption, power, and life of Christ to others. So ito po yung ating mission. Ano? We should have to ministry or to minister those who are not in the family of God. So ito po yung trabaho natin. God bless everyone. And have a wonderful day sa inyo lahat. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this uh, short exhortation at aming pong napag-aralan uh, that we are being born, that we are born to the call of God. Kami po, Panginoon, ay inyong tinawag. And we, we pray, O God, na naway sa inyo pong pagtawag sa amin, lahat kami magre-respond. Lahat kami ay... Uh, ay uh, magtatanggap uh, Panginoon ng inyong pong katawagan at ito po yaming gagawin ayon po sa inyong kalaban Lord, help us each and everyone to, to have this courage na makayanan po namin ang inyong katawagan and we believe oh God na kayo ang gagawa para po sa amin we thank you Lord for my brothers and sisters who are listening right now or watching right now Lord, I pray in the name of your Son, Jesus, that you may open the floodgates of heaven and pour out your blessing upon blessing unto them, financially, physically, 
mentally and spiritually. Thank you, God. We bless your name. We honor your name. And we adore your name. You alone deserve all the praises and glory and adoration. As we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless po sa inyong lahat at isang mapagpalang araw sa atin lahat. Shalom.